Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. So today I'm gonna tell you how to fly your drone in Korea. So if you are planning to visit Korea with your drone, uh, it will be helpful. So let's start. First, you don't have to register your drone in Korea, like the FAA in USA. Uh, there's no rules to register your drone in Korea. So. Just bring your drone, free to bring your drone, that's all. But uh, you cannot fly your drone freely uh, as the other countries 9.3 kilometers from the airport is the air control zone. So you cannot fly your drone near the airport like Incheon or Gimpo and else um, without any permission. You cannot fly your drone and the uh, altitude limit is 150 meters so you cannot fly your drone over the 150 meters the special thing is Korea is the only one divided country in the world South Korea and North Korea there's a truce line from the west side to the east side uh, so you cannot fly your drone near the truce line like north of Gyeonggi-do and the north of Gangwon-do uh, You cannot fly your drone and by the same reason There are a lot of troops in Korea Of course, you cannot fly your drone near the troops Then how can the tourists know where the troops are where the prohibited zone you're just a tourist so i'll introduce an application to check the drone flight zone uh, in korea uh, which is called red to fly uh, you can download it from the app store just search the ready to fly like this okay let's check the app if you take a look the map of the south korea and you can find the red areas the red areas are prohibited zone which means you cannot fly your drone without permissions these are called p zone if you fly your drone in p zone without any permissions you could be arrested by the police or the army especially in seoul because there is a blue house just behind the Gyeongbokgung. You may know the Gwangamun Gyeongbokgung. There, there is a blue house. So that's the most important area in Korea. So never ever try to fly your drone there. And one more thing. You cannot fly your drone in the national parks like Soraksan, Hallasan, and else to protect the nature. Yeah, that's all. So the point is, check the drone flight zone in Korea by the ready to fly and never ever try to fly your drone in the red areas and fly, under, fly your drone under 150 meters, that's all. Easy, right? I hope this video helped you to prepare the travel in Korea and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, thank you for watching my video. Bye!